But today is the final day of shooting on This Is Axiom. We've basically done the film, pretty much, but we've got a few special shots that we want to do, which is the zero gravity stuff. We achieved that by taking our set that we spent last week shooting on and drowning it. And we shoot something called Wet For Dry. You've got to take in quite a lot of things into account, like what materials you've made it out of and how it all fits together. Is it because you don't want it to all like float to the top or come apart? We've gone to town with painting all of our set with yacht varnish. Because you're not swimming, you're using things. Because there's no gravity, you would be using things to get yourself along. I came in yesterday. The guys just gave me like a small training how to breathe through the, the tube and take off my mask and put it back on underwater. They told me that there's nothing I need to worry about because they're going to be there and, and they're all going to be watching me and can take time if I need to. And action. We have productions come to us and say we want to work underwater and then logistically we put it all together as to how it's going to work and how we're going to do it safely and in a controlled manner. They have their own camera units that are sealed um, using the same lenses and an actual camera body that we've used on dry land. We had your spaceship and we obviously had to rig that with you guys, make sure we skied it and put it in the water safely. We then sunk it because it was obviously wooden, uh, which works really well underwater. And then once we secured it in position, we sort of trained up the artist, Yuriri, and made sure she was comfortable and confident, competent sort of with us and knowing that obviously we've got her lives in our hands. And then I coordinated it whilst my lovely divers sort of took her under. So let's reset your reread, let's reset. So once we've shot it, it will look much more as if it's zero gravity than it will look like it's underwater. The real trick is to get our actress to float through the water rather than swim through the water. We put the set on a slight tilt as well, so that it, as she falls with gravity in real life, it looks like she's sort of going horizontally. Another technical challenge we have is bubbles, air bubbles. It's important to, again, have that set on a, on a tilt so that the bubbles float away from the set. Lighting, it was very different to how I would light social realism, obviously. So it's been really great, really experimental, really exciting to be freer, I guess, from the naturalist kind of way of filming. It's been really fun. There was a lot of pre-production talks about the colours, what could work on the dry set that then could be into the underwater stage. We've had to use similar lighting to our dry set on our wet set and there's only certain lights you can use underwater. So what we did is we took the decision to use the underwater lights on our dry set. Really exciting to watch, yeah, great. It's been absolutely amazing and I've really enjoyed every single moment of this project. I know that we've got an amazing looking film and everything's really good about it. So that, you know, sometimes you rap on something and you've run out of time and you go, eh, we'll make it work. Whereas now I'm like, oh my God, we're making it work because it's brilliant. Cut there. And that is a wrap on This Is Axiom. Yeah.